Mom, can I come in? Yes. Yes? Just wanted to say, um, Hallie and I have decided that we're separating. Oh. Has Ajax told you we're separating? Yes, yes, he just said so. I I'm gonna stay here with Jimmy. And I'll be in the caravan. Ajax will be in the caravan. Yeah, yeah, you just said, yes. Mum, um, I need a hand gathering Eliza's toys, leaving tomorrow. Well, your mind's made up then. Heading up the Cardiothoracic Centre of Excellence in Sydney. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take that job. Could you give me a hand, please? Jimmy, no, don't jump on the bed. Oh, I deserve to welcome all this family time. Uh, could you let me get up? Chew out. Could you shut the door? Well, that was a passion killer. <laughs> You're leaving us then. Today. Just like that. To a higher calling, Ken. Look, I don't like the big note myself, but it does seem the cardiothoracic surgery flatlined the day I left town. The respect in the room was actually quite humbling. Ada Burr just wants to see you about her varicose veins before you go. Am I sorry that I'm leaving? Of course I am. If you could have seen the look on the faces of my peers, the hunger for me to make a contribution. Ken says it was your peers that put you on the program for crap doctors and banished you to Wyhope so you could clean up your act. Because when you think about it, Wyhope's been my wilderness years, a time for me to shape the big ideas. I'll let the Nobel Prize Committee know. No hurry. All a good time. You, me, Floyd, outside, now. <laughs> When do you think you might want to break the news to the family about us? Oh, I think that's making an assumption. They'll take it in their stride, the grown-ups. What makes you think that? We're taking my stuff to the caravan. Oh, do you think you've got enough? Ajax needs his PlayStation. He's going to be all by himself. Hi, Michael. Hmm. You're an early bird. Didn't know you were here. Oh, just popped in for morning coffee. Oh, right. <laughs> that they haven't put two and two together. It's not that unlikely, is it? Not from where I sit. <clears throat> so I've spoken to the school and they know Floyd won't be coming back for the time being. If ever. So I've had to bring him into work because let's face it, he's absconded twice in two days and I really don't know if I can trust him anymore. Of course I can, he's a good kid. And you two have got this whole secret boy, buddy, palsy, walsy thing going on. You always have done. And I insist on knowing what's been going on at Floyd's school that's led to all of this. What have the two of you been cooking up to keep me in the dark? I want to know. I don't know if we've been cooking up anything, have we? You're leaving anyway. That hasn't been decided yet. Well, yes, it has, but... Look, if Floyd did happen to tell me anything at all, I may feel obliged to keep his confidences. I'm his mother. There's no such thing as confidences. Hot air balloons come down at Runley Creek. Multiple casualties. They hit a power line. Emergency bag. Floyd, stay where you are. Ken, keep an eye on him. What did you say to him on the plane? Now he thinks I'm your one. Look, if anything was said, 
It's because we were seconds away from death in a plane crash. I was trying to comfort your son. I comfort my son. <sighs> he sent a dick pic to a girl, but it was a setup, and I went all round school. Okay? Your best bet is to go across country. Okay, copy that. Confirming you'll be first on scene ahead of the paramedics. They're on their way. They're on their way. Hey, can you just take care of her for a second, please? Hey, you doing? You guys all right? She's okay. She's just in shock. Oh, shit. Yeah, right. Okay. Got a broken leg and a heart knock to the head. Back from Sydney. Yes. Now, before you go, I need Nana Hannah's ring because I am going to propose. Oh, we're not going through this again. No, 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 no. It's different this time. Last time I hadn't scored a deal with a multinational brewing operation that wanted to give me two million bucks to take Arcadia beer to the world. Say that again. Is this something you've done? Yes, I've done. You're allowed to have more than one genius success story in the family. Why doesn't anyone think I can pull off something successful? We do. And it's wonderful. Yeah. I thought it was. It's just that Haley and Ajax have decided to separate and I, I just don't quite know what to do about it. Oh, well, swings and roundabouts. And Hugh secured a prestigious position in Sydney. Yep, well, I'm still going to propose. Of course you are. I think it's wonderful. Yes, because two mil is two mil. So if I could have that ring, please, because, you know, timing and everything. Oh, yes, yes, of course. But you know sometimes when something sounds too good to be true, maybe sometimes it is, so get Michael to check over the paperwork just in case. Hey, love you, gotta get to work. Whoa, 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 whoa. something to say. Well, what, quickly? Can you just give me a minute? Oh, can't I wait? Shana's back in town and I need to get to council. Okay. Quickly. Hey. Hey. Um, so you know how I pulled off this staggering, life-changing deal in Sydney? I know, and it's wonderful, but you should have someone qualified look over it to see if it's as good as it sounds. Okay, Meryl, why are you saying that? Why are you looking to pick a fight? I'm not trying to... It's just, if this is what being a mayor's all about, then maybe you should rethink it. Not a chance. Give it more thought, idiot. Liam? Can you hear me, mate? Yes. You have got six casualties, one being a fracture. Okay. You stay with a fracture, I'll stick with a head injury. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna give you something for the pain, okay? All the passengers are counter This young couple, they jumped early and then we hit the ground hard and the basket tipped over. Okay. You? I'm going to splint. Welcome back, Liam. You sit tight, mate. We'll be back in a sec. Make sure he doesn't move. I think you and Ajax have acted too quickly with your separation. We've given it a lot of thought, Meryl. We think it's for the best. A lot of young marriages have teething problems. Meryl, we've been married for three and a half years. In my experience, a lot of the problems are found in the bedroom. Oh. Do you really think so? I've made an appointment for you and Ajax to go to the clinic this lunchtime. Oh. You might like to read this book. Not now. You don't have to read it now.
Besides, if you two separate, who's going to look after Ajax? You can escape, but I'll always be his mother. Grandmother. Meryl. Charlie, you're just the person I want to see. Doctor. Oh, okay. tell me what's going on. I've got a little pain in my upper arm, but I, uh, well, I can't feel my hand. All right, Penny. Oh. Circumferential burn. There's no uh. pulse here. Hands cold to the touch. Oh, God. Okay, Jess, gonna get you to walk with me. Okay. But there's swelling under the burn, thickening the skin, putting pressure on your veins and arteries, cutting off the circulation. Down here. There we go. Easy does it. You're going to make an incision in the wound to relieve the pressure, restore the blood flow. You understand what's happening? Yes. Okay. It's only going to take a moment. Okay, I've got a pulse. Just try and move your fingers for me, Jess. There we go. That's good. That's very good. Shana. That no, was fine. Uh, sure. No, no. I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Bye. Uh, Shana's at the airport. There's no taxi, so I, I said that I'd go and get her. Oh, yeah, of course. Mm. I just wanted you to know that the chair from the Central West Horticultural Society has been on the phone to me today. He's just been a bit concerned that I'm no longer the mayor. But I managed to reassure him that it was business as usual. Oh, that's good. He'll be in Wyhope later today to discuss the awarding of the Central West Floriard. The Wyhope Floriard? Sorry? Floriard? Wyhope Institution? Big money spinner every year? <laughs> Don't imagine that happens by accident. The Floriard's a touring show. It just so happens to take place in Wyhope every year, except in 2007 when I was ill in bed and it went to Stanwell. You'll meet the chair for an early dinner. Table's booked. You'll just schmooze, flirt a little. And when he asks for dessert, you'll discreetly pass him this. No. My first job as interim mayor and you want me to be a bag man? No. 
I want to bring honesty and integrity to this job. Why do you think you're sitting there in a high-vis vest? Well, clearly because I put why hope first. Charlie, you have the makings of a very fine appointment as long as you get a grip on your responsibilities. Well, I'm not doing it. Take the money. And that you understand that the Floriad is central to Wyhope's recovery. Wheels need to be oiled. Could you wear something more alluring? Appearances count. Penny. Uh, thanks so much for this. It's not a problem. Hey. hey. Um, uh, what happened to you two? Oh, nothing. There was a thing with a hot air balloon. A hot air balloon? Had to make an emergency landing. There were some injuries. Doesn't sound like nothing. <laughs> it's good news about Hugh's job. Yeah. Well deserved. Yeah. Uh, shall we? Oh, no, Shana, you sit in the front. No, no, you, um, I'm good. No, please, get in the front. Okay. You all good? counselling thing? Mm. I don't know, Ajax. I don't really know what we're doing here. What's this? What? This. Nothing. It's not... It's just... Just something that Meryl gave me. Mum gave you this? I didn't ask her to. All the pages have ticks on them. What? Yeah, OK, all right. I don't need to show everyone. Look, I just think maybe we should go. Mr. and Mrs. Knight? OK, so I'm not a counsellor, but I am partway through my sexual therapy diploma. We're here to learn how to be naked. <laughs> Yep, the offer's definitely for two million bucks. There's no mistake about that. Yeah, and there was um, talk of private jets to Melbourne for marketing and distribution and the like. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, travel accommodation, all gets a mention here, all down in black and white. Not that it'll change who I am. Uh, the party of the first part will purchase the Arcadia label, a taste of Waiho. Like, I'm still gonna be the same guy. Okay, so, um,. The beers, the Arcadia beers, they won't actually be brewed in Waiho. They won't? It says here, all beers to be brewed under licence in Melbourne. They didn't tell you that? But I can still brew my beer in Waiho. Well, no. There's a non-compete clause. It limits your options to trade outside of this agreement. Why would they do that? Well, maybe they feel that Arcadia is a competitor to their other craft beer brands, and they're buying you out to close you down. But the two million bucks is still on the table? Oh, yeah. No disputing the dosh. You can order the Porsche. Yeah. So what's coming up event-wise in My Hope? Nothing much. Isn't there a Floria? Yep, yeah, that might go to another town. Really? But it's your job to revitalise this town. You sure it can't come to Waihut? Okay. Um, say if you could secure something like the Floriade, that would be a positive benefit for the whole town. Mm -hmm. um, but say you're expected to oil the wheels, you know, to nudge things along a little bit. Could there ever be any situation where that might be okay? No, that's the very thing I was sent here to stamp out. 
Mm. Yeah. Why? I was just theorizing. Uh-huh. Hey, can I ask you something, woman to woman? Yes. So Hugh has obviously had, you know, a colorful past, dating-wise. You mean when Hugh and I were together? That was years ago. I didn't know you and Hugh were together. Oh, sorry. Um, do you mean Hugh and Penny? Is there any woman in my hope he hasn't slept with? I would not go digging around in that little cabbage patch if I were you. <clears throat> Hugh and Penny, um, they had an on-again, off-again thing for years. And years. Yeah, and then it all finished up when she got married and left town, so. And then she came back. She did. Anyway, um, I need to go fix that thing in reception. So. Didn't know there were actual words for some of that stuff. We said we'd try some of the techniques that Melody suggested and report back. So you better pick me up after work. Yeah. Well, we can't disappoint Melody. Mm. All right, then. We'll give it our best shot. Now that Hugh's leaving, I guess he'll be applying to get your old job back. Ugh, I haven't really thought that far ahead. You're in the box seat. My future is an open book. Because of your marriage breakup? Yes. <clears throat> anyway, uh, Sydney's gonna be an adventure. Hugh's always wanted the world. I'm really pleased for both of you. Are you? Are we really doing the cliche where the only thing two women can find to talk about is a man? I didn't know that's what we were doing. It's just odd. If you really were pleased for us, you wouldn't have falsified the KPI stats, you know, to keep Hugh in my hope. That was an honest mistake. It wasn't a deliberate one. Look, whatever you've heard or whatever you might choose to think, I wish you and Hugh only the very best for your future happiness in Sydney. Honestly. All good? Yeah, just, um, girl talk. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Hey, can we talk? I just gotta clean up my desk and say a few words to the team. Hugh, this is everything you ever wanted. Validation, respect, recognition. Absolutely. I'll see you in a bit. Sorry. Uh, look, I'm not really a fan of long, syrupy goodbye speeches, so probably best for everyone that we get this over and done with, quick smart. But I just wanted to say that um, I will never forget my time here. Perhaps not here, yeah, but um, <laughs> definitely working with all of you. You are all truly the best. So I guess this is um, thank you, and this is goodbye. That's it. It's all good. It's fine, Ken. It's fine. <laughs> Thank you for, um... <laughs> Good luck.
Is that is that good? You had a couple of florally silky things. Yeah, it's all good, thank you. Um, what's the gig? Um, oh, it's just some meeting. Is it going to take long? <sighs> I thought we should celebrate. The two million dollar deal that I brought back from Sydney. Yes, yes, yeah. amazing. I had Michael check over the paperwork, like you said. It's great. Yeah. Um, I should get ready. Mm. <laughs> what did Michael say? Uh, all good. Two million bucks. No arguing about the dosh. Dad, that's great news. Yeah. <laughs> I'll catch you later. Okay. Tell me I'm wrong. But I had the feeling today that there was still something between you and Penny. No, there's not. She clearly means a lot to you. Look, we've been a good team. That's it. We've been living out of each other's pockets for a very long time. Sean. Sure. Shana, I want a life with you. Are you certain about that? Yes. I'm sorry, I wish my life was less complicated, but it's not. Do you want to come to Sydney because it means we'll be together, or just because you want to be a superstar surgeon? Oh, big come city? on. I'm going to Sydney today, and when you decide what you want, come and find me. Or not. What? Shana! Shana! Hey, hey, stop. Will you stop, please? This is exactly what I want. If you're going to Sydney today, that I'm coming to. Miss Pereira, is it? <laughs> uh, Warren Bostock. Hi. Uh, chair of the Central West Horticultural Society. Nice to meet you. Likewise. So, you're the new Meryl? Oh, I wouldn't say that. I'm gonna miss her. Yeah, Meryl and I go back a, a very long way. Um, can I get you a soft drink? Uh, unfortunately, my time is short, so perhaps we'll just go straight to dessert. I'll get a menu. No, I meant... Yeah, you know, no, they have a really yummy creme brulee, so... Oh, here she is. <laughs> the redoubtable Meryl Knight. <laughs> oh, Warren, it's been so long. Hey. Hey. We going home anytime soon? When are you going to tell me what happened at school? I'm thrilled to be out of the joint. And soon it's just going to be a crap memory. Let's just leave it at that, eh? You've been home for two days now, and I'm still waiting for you to be honest with me. Yeah, same. Floyd. You told me about the picture on the phone at school. You could tell Hugh, why couldn't you talk to me? Do you think I want to have to explain that to my mother? Why don't you just get with Hugh again? I mean, everybody knows that's what you want to do. If we're being honest, then... Floyd. There is no me in Hugh. That's just wrong. You're both wrong. Oh, no, I'm, I'm comfortable with that. Well, I'm glad we could have this little chat. Get back to me when you can start being honest. Here you go. Right there. 
this one? No. Okay. Where is it? We got... Ah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ta-da! I can't recommend Munich highly enough. And as a gardener, you would find so much gardening there. Munich is the third largest city in Germany with a population of 1.5 million inhabitants. A dessert seems to be rather a long time arriving. Charlie, why don't we move things along a little? So listen. Dessert is off tonight. Excuse me? Sadly, I'm all out of sticky date fingers. Sorry, pudding. And frankly, I can't see a day when it's back on the menu. Not while I'm administrator. <coughs> now, I can offer you a permanent venue with a wide range of services, so why hope can indeed become the Floriad capital of the Central West. And maybe a plaque in the gardens. With your name on it. Last time I saw you in the nutty, oh, I thought I, thought I was going to have a heart attack with your legs and everything. Oh, I... Ajax, I don't think we're supposed to be talking about our bodies. Right. Melody said it's about taking our issues out of the combat zone and into a safe space where we're free to express our innermost feelings. Hmm. Sorry. No, 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 it's, it's fine. Why don't you try again? No physical contact. <sighs> it's just... Your skin is always so soft. You've got this lovely, soapy smell. I just I hope you're not getting excited. How about you? A little bit. It's just, Hales, my deepest innermost thoughts have always been about loving you. You've always been so beautiful to me. Tom was just something that I had to get out of my system. Okay. Ajax, I don't just want you to love me in your head. I didn't need you to build me a house. I just... I just wanted you to want me. Like it's the only thing you can think about. Why don't you surprise me? the word of this to Melody. So you see, positions of authority are not as simple as they seem. They're much more complicated. You almost lost the Floriad for Why Hope Forever. Yeah, but he agreed to my terms. It's amazing what a pretty smile will get you. And some steel. You know, politics is about give and take, and sometimes you have to give for the sake of the town that you love. And sometimes you don't. Hmm. It would appear that Why Hope will be in good hands. Is there some kind of handing over the reins thing? Of course not. <laughs> Though you and Matt and your marriage state, it needs attention. It's untidy. Got it covered. Anything else? Haley, make sure she has a job in council. That girl needs to be kept busy. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. Welcome to yours.
You know, I think this must be what success tastes like. Feels pretty good, huh? Yeah. It feels like I'm finally taking charge. Not to mention the money. Mm. Oh, yeah. And it may have just occurred to me that I have finally stepped out of the shadow of my terribly gifted older brother. Even Mum said she was proud of me. Your Worship. Hello. Matt, will you do me the great honour of being my next husband? <laughs> Come on, Charlie, that's not fair. How am I supposed to say no to that? Do you want to say no? Uh, no. No, no, I don't. It's just... I've been trying to propose to you for days. And I accept. Good. But, you know, first I was going to tell you about this amazing deal, and then you were going to be like, wow, that's so good. I was going to tell you more about it, and you're going to be like, wow, you're such a clever boy. Oh, and... you are such a clever boy. Yeah? And you're a brilliant, brilliant man. Good. Because I'm going to tell him to get stuffed. Let's get married soon as. Yeah. And remember, I'm picking up at six for the parliamentary dinner. Oh, shit, sorry. Totally forgot. I've got to pick Eliza up at six from daycare. OK, that's, um, that's fine. But I'll have to go anyway. Yeah, yeah, I'll get that. Uh, have you thought any more about no pair? No. Not really. You're crazy busy. Yeah, not too busy for my daughter. It, I just think an au pair would take the pressure off. Yeah, the pressure off who? Well, um, I'm not suggesting that we see Eliza any less. It's just now that you don't have your family at your beck and call, it's, it's different. Call me, it's urgent. Right, where the hell is he? He's not answering. Well, it's supposed to be the, the bride is late, not the best man. Hugh definitely said he's coming. Yeah, he always says that until something better comes along. And if not, I can do it. <sighs> It'll be good. Could we get started soon of a funeral at five? It's supposed to be my day. Suddenly it's about Hugh. No. How's, How's Charlie? Charlie? She's good. Bubbles? Yes. Oh, yes, thank you. 
timing's never been his strong point. Hey. Oh. I was going to give this to you later, but I thought I might as well do it now. The bailiffs seemed to think it was theirs, but I think they got it wrong. All right, guys, I'm going to call this Ajax's best man. Let's do it, yeah? For God's sake. Bugger Hugh, let's just get it done. Oops, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, back, back. We're about to start. We're doing it anyway. Go. OK, let's do it. I take Charlie to be my lawfully wedded wife. You, Charlie, take Matt to be your lawfully wedded husband. We certainly do. She certainly does. She does. <laughs> you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> We got a text from Betty this morning. Uh, she says, all the best, Matt and Charlie. But go to rocks. Bogota. Bogota rocks. <laughs> and I love Y Hope. Oh, yes. 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 OK, OK. Um, how lucky am I that I get to marry this beautiful woman? This beautiful woman that is the love of my life not once, but twice. <laughs> so, as you all know, this huge multinational brewing mob offered us two million bucks to buy Arcadia beer, and we told them to get stuffed. Yeah! yeah. Woo, woo. Because Arcadia beer is more than just a brew. It is my heart. It is my history. It is my love. And it is my life. And how great that I get to toast the woman who means the world to me with our own Arcadia beer. Yeah! Yeah! You missed the ceremony. Yeah, well, got a lot of things to pack up in Sydney and time got away. Yeah, it does that. Are you back? Uh, yeah, yeah, I am. What about your job? Shana? Shana deserves someone who was all in. And I just couldn't give her that. Penny, some may say I have a big ego. We all do. But even I have to admit, I can't see a life of myself without you in it. Here, in Why Hope, with you. You hate Why Hope. Yeah, well, about that. Can I let you in a little secret? Mm-hmm. Thanks, I kind of love it. 
almost as much as I love you. I love you too. And you. <laughs> Better get in there. Mm. <laughs>